Hi and welcome to another video in my Citroen Relay van build series. In this video I am going to be installing my Vision Plus 570 TV aerial. Let's do it. Right, first things first, let's unpack it and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got uh, some packs of uh, screws, the uh, amplifier part, connecting cable. This obviously all makes up the uh, the tube bit and the uh, the adjustment. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it goes together yet, but I'm sure we'll figure that out. Um, a power cable, uh, a label to stick inside how to operate it. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Instructions, that's always handy. EU Declaration of Conformity. I'm going to that rubbish. Okay. And a pamphlet telling you what you can buy after you've already bought one. So that's uh, very useful. Right. Let's get up on the roof and uh, let's suss out where I'm going to put it. Okay, so up on the roof here, it has to be said, I am very quickly running out of space. But uh, as luck would have it, I've got a nice gap here, which is going to be right above where the uh, seat is going to be. Because this is the uh, micro hecky for the shower cubicle. So the shower is going to finish roughly somewhere about there, I'm guessing. So from this point onwards is where the uh, seat frame is underneath here. So here seems as good a job as any. So. What I need to do is figure out exactly where to put this so because I want it as, as close to the edge as possible without overhanging the edge so that it can it can rotate but also it's going to be beneficial of course to have it on one of these upper ribs not down in the in the gully so I'm wondering if uh, if there is going to be a good choice like that and then when it's sat down in traveling position it's um, sort of behind the solar panel here which is going to help the uh, sort of wind buffering of that and then when i've lifted it up it can ooh, might just catch there unless we go right up i don't know let me tinker with that for a few minutes and i'll come back to the whole drilling part Okay, so I figured out where I'm going to uh, put it, and uh, this is where the max fan is. Uh, so I've cut a little hole away here, which is where that's going to come through. And then when the tube comes down, that will be inside the, uh, the, the cupboard, which will be here above the seat frame. Uh, I'll explain all this string um, a little bit later, because I'm just going to move on to my insulation video after I've, uh, after I've done this. But for now, let's concentrate on the TV aerial. So. Just going to pop a little pilot hole through from from this side and then we'll cut the hole out from the uh from the top i think would probably be a better idea so um, here's the up part of my rib so i'm going to try and get this plumb in the middle and we have daylight again right Let's go up on the top with the hole saw and uh, cut that out. Right, now I've got my hole and uh, cleaned up all the swarf, let's uh, just treat the, uh, the edge with some uh, hammerite. Right, okay, so I've got uh, got it kind of offered into position. I've pre-drilled and uh, fixed these two screws. I've just loosened them again a little bit. Uh, but the problem we're having is, obviously there's this overlap either side here, uh, which I want to try and do, do something with. Uh, it's 
going to be dead easy, of course, just to fill it with loads of splodge, but that's, uh, that's just going to look a bit crap, isn't it? So what I've done is I have prepared two pieces of that UPVC trim that I was using when I was fitting my Max fans. If you haven't seen that, watch the Max fan video for a top tip on how to sort out your, your little gullies here. But anyway, I've prepared a couple of little bits and they, all being well, are going to slide in underneath here. Just gonna offer that piece of uh, rubber up a moment so I can get that in. It's a bit of a tight fit, but you know, that's good. That's what we want. So that is going to shimmy under there like so and fill in that gap. And then I can screw it through there and, uh, and then just stick a flex around the, uh, the edge. That's the idea anyway. So this is either going to go brilliantly well and I can myself a good pat on the back with a celebratory cup of tea or I'm going to get in a complete Sikaflex mess and be stood in the corner of the gar garage weeping to myself in five minutes. Um, take your bets on which. Right, let's have a go. I was going to try and get some Sikaflex under there, but actually that's such a, a nice fit. I think I'm going to uh, leave that as it is and just splodge around the, uh, the side. I think that's going to do fine. And... Which of these to use, I wonder? That's a bit fierce. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna pre-drill and then use the uh, long screws that actually came with it, I think. Right, let's try and get this uh, uh, fitted. I'm gonna turn that around that way so it's a bit easier. Shove that into the hole. And it comes with a little uh, little screw and an Allen key to pop a screw uh, through on the side there. Okay, right, I think that's everything on the roof here done. Everything else is on the inside. So let's get inside the van and uh, see if we can uh, fix the, uh, the bracket and stuff that makes it turn and an angle. I'll just push it down for now. So that's where it will sit when, uh, when you're traveling. Yeah, lovely, that'll do. Right, let's get inside. Okay, so I've got my uh, fixing plate uh, on the inside here and um, 
a couple of pieces of wood there just to uh, sort of grip all that together. Uh, so now it's a case of get the get that piece in, which is I think what uh, yeah that tightens on there and stops that uh, moving. So that's fine. And then the handle bit, get the cable through there. So uh, now around this side, I've got uh, so we know that the uh, we know that the um, the aerial is led uh, flat to the to the surface. And uh, we've now got the green horizontal bit showing. So if I loosen that off and push that up like so, and then tighten that back in. Now, if I twist, you just hold that out of the way for me, please, Harry. So now if I twist like so, until we get the vertical bit showing, up on the roof now, that should be uh, sat uh, in the vertical plane rather than horizontal plane. So let's have a quick look. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Look at that. Right, Harry, can you twist that back the other way so that the green bit shows rather than the red bit? Yeah, that's it, keep going. Perfect. That's it, that's enough. Lovely, look at that. So there we go, that's a nice quick simple video on how I'm installing my Vision Status 570 Aerial. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, pretty straightforward and simple really. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.